After arriving at Tampa International Airport, he then made some stops. The vice president made his way through the city, stopping along the way for a Cuban sandwich, of course, and then a Keep America Great rally in Tampa at St. Mark's Catholic Church. That's where 10 News reporter Eric Glasser is live tonight. Eric, people turned out for this event today. Standing room only, Allison. They turned out by the hundreds. Now, that's not the thousands that we normally see when the president comes to town, but nonetheless, a very enthusiastic crowd welcoming the vice president to Tampa Bay. Less than three weeks into the new year, the administration is back in Central Florida, a battleground region in a battleground state, which Republicans acknowledge President Trump must carry if he's to win re-election. It's on. Election year is here. The vice president's visit comes on the same day the Senate officially opened its impeachment trial against President Trump, which Pence called nothing more than partisan politics. The truth is Democrats are trying to run down this president because they know they can't run against this president. The vice president focused most of his comments on what supporters would see as the administration's accomplishments, new trade agreements with China, Mexico and Canada, and a booming economy. Unemployment's at a 50-year low. The stock market is soaring. Pence also talked about the administration's support for the U.S. military and the president's recent missile strike that killed an Iranian general. President Donald Trump took action, and Qasem Soleimani is gone. What do we do? Stand up, fight back! Outside St. Mark's Catholic Church, several protesters rallied against the administration's policies on issues like the environment and immigration. Inside the church hall, Vice President Pence also focused on topics that resonate with the administration's religious base. This president and this administration will always stand for the religious freedom of every American of every faith. Before stepping away from the podium, the vice president made one more plea to ask supporters to do what they could to support the administration's efforts here in the Sunshine State. And Florida played an incredibly important role in 2016, as you have in every presidential election in my lifetime and well before. And undoubtedly, Florida will be a huge player again in the upcoming election. From here, the vice president traveled to the Kissimmee area for a Latinos for Trump rally. I can tell you that before he ever stepped up to the podium today, other Florida political dignitaries did as well, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. All of them acknowledged the importance, the must, if you will, of the Trump administration taking Florida again in the upcoming election if they expect uh, to win re-election. So expect to see more of the vice president and very likely the president as well in the coming months.